Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm your host, Bring It Dawn, and we are at our first treasure location, uh, right here on the map. So, well first let's take a look at the map itself, and then we'll uh, go into details on how to find it. So you play Ancient Map number one. You uh, see how it says to the west there's Rite, and to the right, well there's Neuhoff. Use Neuhoff as your, uh, as your reference. And if you see down next to the red X, there's that little camp. It's a, uh, it's a coal burner's camp. So if you take a look at the actual map. So here's Neuhoff up here. If you come down here, there's this coal burner's camp right here. If you look closely at the map, there's this little trail right here. This took me forever to find, by the way. Um, if you keep coming up to the east here. There's this interesting site. It's an abandoned campsite. Well, it's burned down. But there is a hard uh, hard chest there, which is actually really easy to open for me now. Which is exciting. I'm getting better at it. It has some valuables in it. It's got a couple of chalices and some uh, groschen in there and uh, so a couple of potions. But to find the actual... Um, treasure, treasure site. Uh, treasure, you continue to see how this like little line of trees here is super duper dark. Or darker than the rest follow it all the way to the tip just keep following it back and if you continue east from the site you'll see a bandit hanging in a tree along this path and then you also see like and then that's probably about right here and about right here there's this weird pile of stones next to a tree just keep on coming and you'll eventually make it to right here then when you get here there'll be a wheelbarrow a mound of dirt and a grave and you do need a spade to dig in the grave and uh you dig it up, which I've already done, and then you open it up, and here we are. Chuck a groschen, lucky playing die, recipe for poison. Unique sword, it seems. Let's take all these. Transfer this to my horse. I'll worry about equipping all this stuff later. I just want to get all the uh, treasure maps done for now. So I do want to compare my boots. All right, noble shoes is basically the same thing. Warhorse pauldrons. What do I have on my pauldrons right now? The gauntlets, I guess. Oh, by the way, they're not worth the money because it's all free stuff. So it's uh, let's move it to my horse, stinger as well. Oh, and I also bought a dagger off camera, uh, because of oh, a couple silver rings. I bought a dagger off camera because he said that I needed a dagger to collect, um, I can't jump out of the grave, so I'm encumbered. By what? Can't eat that mushroom, that's... That's for certain. Uh, maybe because of the die? No, that's 5.3. Oh, it's because of this, okay. Let's uh, give this to the horse as well. Anyway, I will see y'all at the next treasure map, or next treasure location, hopefully. Hey guys, welcome back. This is actually the second altercation I've run into while hunting for the second treasure. And uh, I've killed one bandit here already, and this will be uh, two, three, and four if everything goes well. Uh, I haven't saved in a while, and I hope I don't die here. This is the biggest fight I've been in so far. I have to hit Q as soon as I unpause the game. Didn't work. Okay. This guy's been blocking all my stuff. The first guy was a bit of a joke. Like, he just, he went down without a fight. This guy, I think he might be the leader. But I have an increased chance to cause them to bleed. And it's gonna get dark soon, so I'm sorry if you can't see the whole fight. There we go. I'm a little concerned because my flank is exposed to these guys. Yeah, get away from me, man. Hey, who's there? 
Okay, uh, Marigold to du Concoction, whatever. Those are pretty good because they allow, um... Ooh. It heals you if you apply it to food. Oh, jeez. This guy doesn't have a weapon, so... Come here, dude. He's doing... He's pretty agile, all things considered. So I'm just kind of wailing on this guy right now. Um, it's not really a fight so much as me just... Hoping he goes down soon. Okay, there's a bunch of bandits here. This guy's really tanky, though. Shoot your arrow, man. Dude, just go down. Sorry, this is that was a little ridiculous. Sorry, but the banded ear. Oh, a small blacksmith's kit. I'll send that to the. A lot of boar's tusk. Haven't found one of those yet. Yeah, so this is fascinating. Um, again, it's gonna get dark soon, so I should probably. I'm not bleeding anywhere. I haven't taken any damage from this fight. I don't think. Things have been going extraordinarily well, so I hope I don't uh. I don't botch it. Liver encumbered. I don't remember what I picked up. Oh, that. Send that to the horse. Oh, bandit leader spurs. Kettle hat's worth a good amount. Ooh, these are worth a whole bunch. So is that. Yeah, this guy was kitted out. Yeah, he was definitely the leader. But he was trying to. Bear fist me, so um, take things that are worth a good amount, send them to the horse. Then I think there's one more guy I have to kill. I can't afford to carry any of this yet. Horse can't carry anymore. All right, well, I guess we'll get rid of this. And I did level up a couple of times. Let's see what perks I have available. Sword perk. See, it might not. Doing this one right? Slash slash stab. And let's see, blunt strike, stab slash slash. Slash stab stab. Yeah, screw it, let's learn this one. Then main level, I got. Some new first days, let's see here. Let's go through these real quick. This would be pretty good, mostly for the speech. Oh, yeah, let's get this. Alright, and now we're all caught up level-wise. Oh, yeah, also off-camera, I forgot to mention. It's getting dark out. Let's equip a torch. What are you doing there? I forgot to mention off-camera that, uh... What was that noise? There we go. That I did the mini game for the 
repairing my weapons or whatever. It's not that hard. Ooh, 350. Oh, man. You know, this is worth picking up. It's not worth that much. I'll take the arrows, though. All right, anyway. I have to sleep here, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's not that hard. I don't like how it costs stamina to repair your sword. It makes it more cumbersome than it needs to be. Uh, it just it adds a, another layer of difficulty that you don't need to apply to that. Uh... Oh, it's actually full, full. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to catch y'all at the next... Um... It's called treasure. Sorry, I'm just I am ditzy today. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you all at the next treasure, hopefully. All right, welcome back. Um, this is kind of funny. So the bandit camp that I just defeated, right over there. Uh, the whole reason I ran into them is because I was trying to explore this ruins because I was traveling along this road here, seeking out another treasure, and uh, I accidentally stumbled across a treasure from uh, the treasure maps. So from the road. So if you look here. So I had come from here, uh, the mill, Peshek's mill, I went north across the bridge, came this way. And I was just scooting along, I cut across here, got here, went past the loggers camp here. Kept on scooting, and right here, basically just due south of this uh, constellation uh, cross, I came across an interesting site. Uh, initially I saw, see right there, there's burned out ruins on my cursor when I jump. I saw that. Say, so, oh hey, that looks interesting. And so I came over here and an interesting site popped up. And I was trying to find a way to get in here when I ran across the bandits. Uh, I went over there and I killed them. I slept there, ate their food. That's why I'm, you know, uh, stuffed right now. And then you have to come around to the back side of the building to get up on the walls. And then when you come down here, here it is. It's a, it's actually easy. It's uh, locked, but it's easy. Uh, so I didn't have much trouble getting into it. And boom, here's um, here's our our stuff. So um, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know if I can actually carry all this stuff. So I'm a little concerned now. I was actually gonna run back to town when I stumbled across this. So I might just leave it here for now. Go back to town, come back and pick it up because I, I have stuff I have to sell. But yeah, this is uh, this is blind luck. Uh, um, I'll show you on the map one more time. And it's uh, this is treasure map four. I I went and uh, looked at all the treasure maps to see which one made the most sense. If you click on four, right here, you can see to the uh, southeast it shows Rite, and it shows you going north over the bridge that I went over. And you come across. There's the loggers camp on the uh, northern part of the map. There, you keep coming across to the ruins, and well, there it is. So. Uh, there we are. I guess you can stumble across these randomly. But uh, also, I do want to note that you can find these treasures without the DLC, without pre-ordering. You just won't have the unique Warhorse gear in them. It's like you wouldn't have the Warhorse helmet and Warhorse shoes in the uh, in the thing in the. Uh, treasure in the chest or whatever the container is so anyway i'll catch you off the next treasure again hopefully uh, this one was very quickly found and completely by accident i'm gonna run back to town and dispose of some stuff but anyway uh catch y'all at the next uh treasure all right welcome back uh we only uh we, we haven't made it back to town yet to uh drop off our drop off our stuff yet. I was fast traveling back. I've ran across, uh, this is the second random encounter on my way back. Uh, the first one was a carcass. The guy accused me of murder, like in a previous episode. Uh, this time I told him we both should report it. And there was no altercation. Uh, this one seems different. It's a, uh, unique, or it's a oh, random encounter called Wayfarer. So let's, uh, see what's going on with this guy. How about a small wager, my good man? Not depends. A wager over what? It's simple. I tell you a riddle. If you solve it, you get back twice the sum you wager. If you don't, I get to keep your coin. 
Uh, yeah, sure. That Let's do it. Good. Let's do it. Now, listen carefully. In the feast hall on the table are ten candles. Suddenly, a gust of wind throws open the window and blows out two candles. A little later, another candle goes out. The servant, therefore, closes the hall window. Now the wind cannot blow out any more. So how many candles can the servant find to relight the following morning in the hall? Three. Right? Three. Is the correct answer. Hey, look at that. I'm One good at math. blows out three, seven burn down completely overnight. So the next day, only those three can be rekindled. Well, what can I do? Here's your ten groschen. Spend them as best you can. Maybe we'll meet up again sometime. We may well do so. Thank you. Well, that was fun. Anyway, uh, I'm going to continue on my journey. I'll catch y'all in the uh, next edit. All right, and we're back, ladies and gents. Um, I think I'm onto something. I have no idea where to go from here. But if you look on the map here... Well, first, let's look at the treasure map. Let's get this uh, done right. So, I've gone west. The map really condenses this, but I found a giant rock in the woods. It is taking me... I'd say about an hour of just sort of running around. Um, so if we look at the map, I'm here. Uh, see how it can, the uh, actual treasure map condenses the heck out of this? If this is the right spot, it might not be in the right spot. I have no idea. Um, but we're going to take a look around. Oops, let me do that. Uh, but it looked like on the map that it was south of the rock. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm on the right track, it seems. Is this it? Okay, yeah, we found it. That was that was easy. Um, what does Heavenly Kingdom die? I'll take that. A lot of books. Also, a lot of its war horse. Things are not that good uh, compared to where I was or what I have now. Um, I think I waited too long to actually look for the treasures, so I'm actually ahead of their usefulness. Um, which is awesome because I don't want to, you know, I'm glad I kind of forged my own, my own, uh, like path into the game, not relying on the treasure, the uh, treasures given to me. So this gives me 16, except for the helmet. The helmet is really good. It gives me 24 defense, which is good, but I, I'm not a huge fan of, um, how it looks. But luckily, I don't have to look at myself in games, so. The Warhorse Gauntlets are the same. No, I actually lose uh, visibility and. Alright, yeah. Or it goes up, sorry. I gain visibility. Here I gain leg. Play okay, because I don't have this yet. Well, I'll equip that because I don't have it. This replaces that. This is better than what I have on. Because remember, this was at 15. Let's give that to him. This is worth a thousand groschen. That's phenomenal. And what else did I pick up? Um, longbow. So a little overweight. What else did I pick up? Oh, these books. And that dive. That shouldn't put me over. I'm still a pound overweight. Or a weight overweight, I'll put that with the horse. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I picked up. I'm gonna use the Warhammer for now, so I can get rid of the, uh... Oh, yeah, I also picked up another shield. Uh, that was earlier, I found it on the ground, so it's mine now. It gives me more defense than the uh, common shield that I had. Actually, it reminds me, I want to change my... My, uh, this, yeah. So I'm actually going to drop this and bring this one with me. Uh, where's that? There we go. 
Now I look a little bit more put together, and uh, there we go. That's the, the third treasure down. I have two more to go, and I'll catch you at the next one, I hope. You know, this is taking me quite a bit. I might not even finish this today, but I'm going to do my best. But also, I do want to recommend that you do look for these things yourself, and you don't uh, use a guide, because I'm having a blast trying to find this stuff. It is uh, it's fun, and I keep running into all these quirky little adventures, mostly killing bandits. But uh... Anyway, uh, I'll catch y'all at the in the next edit. Alright, welcome back. It looks like I have someone that wants to steal my money. I'm actually on my way back to get the treasure. I have, I've been killed twice. Not by these guys, by different encounters. I'm on my way to re-pick up my treasures. Uh, see, I'm still on my way back to this treasure over here. But let's see what these guys want. Hey, you bastard. What are you doing creeping around here? What's the matter? Come on! Yeah, I, um... So there's been two... So last time I left y'all, uh, I was actually on my way back to town. And there was a random encounter on the road, and I decided to, uh, you know, encounter it. And, um, it didn't go well. There's two really, fairly well, uh, armored and skilled opponents. And I lost. Not a big deal. Not worried about it. Um, just look at everything. They look like uh, married men. But anyway, anyway, I came back this way to get the treasure again, and there was another random encounter on the road. It was uh, two Cubans fighting three men in black armor and black uh, like clothing. Which now that I think about it, means they probably worked for that uh, guy that stole my father's sword. So yeah, I probably shouldn't have, because I went, I ran in, help trying to help them fight the humans. Like, oh, humans are bad guys. They'll be appreciative of my help. No, I killed the one human, and they immediately all turned on me, and I got destroyed. I ended up taking down one of them, but then the rest of them just beat me to a pulp. But anyway, I'll catch y'all after the next, or in the next edit. All right, welcome back. It's been about a minute, and I've run across another brawl on the road. So here we go. I don't know whose side to take. Anybody's. Assume the guys in black are bad. So a whale on them. Is that it? There are more people. Where'd they go? Pretty sure I hear them. Oh well, I'll just loot these guys and call it a day. Consider myself lucky, I guess. Uh, yep, that's good, because that can heal me. Would put it mixed with food, anyway. You know what? I might be able to put these on. I'll play my cards right. With some bandages, better hunting arrows, I'll take those. Alright, so let's see what I can do here. Well, I'll deal with this off camera, and I'll catch y'all in the next edit. Alright, welcome back. Uh, it's about this. I ran into another faint-hearted uh, knight. I'm just gonna fight him. Now I'll just show you how, how it goes. I'm using my Warhammer now. You I equipped awesome. it for the fight. Because it should do extra damage to his, um... Plate armor. Yeah, I'm gonna wreck this guy. I mean, if it's just one person, I'd, I'd dominate. But if it's, uh... If it's two or three people... The last group fight I was in, I was doing well. Oh, I, I ended up taking down one of the three, and then, um... Out of nowhere, two of them just unlocked, like, unleashed these lengthy combos on me. 
And there was, um, there's nothing I could do. It was from my blind spot. One of them just went to town, and then the one in front of me went to town, and I was already out of stamina, so I couldn't react. Give up! I don't really have to move if it's just the one of them. If, it, if there's multiple, I keep moving around. Mother's right. I'm useless. Is that it? Come here, quick! Alarm! For fuck's sake! Alright, whatever. I tried. Turns out you can't just knock out anybody you want. Alright, anyway, uh, I'll catch y'all on the next edit when I'm hoping at the next treasure. Alright, here we are, another Wayfarer. Uh, we found a mercenary. Let's talk to him. What's the matter? I have a proposal for you. A wager. I'm listening. That was to fight me? A little friendly combat. Just the two of us. Alright, yeah. Right. Why not? Do you have any coin? Well, yeah, I do. Surely uh, you didn't imagine we would fight just for the glory of it. Yeah, only a 50? Oh, I'll oh, take it. Wow. Fine, let's go. All right, let's see what you got, man. All right, now you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get away from my horse. I don't want you to actually kill him. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's dance. Oh, whoa. I shouldn't have swung so much. There. That's on me. That's that's just... Yeah. thought I had a sword. <laughs> I want to back up, dude. Now you're fucked. I don't think I am. I think you are. I unlock from you. Didn't mean to do all that. You going to cry now? Probably not. I hope not. I'm over here. I know where you are, son. Come on. <laughs> Keep that up. Had enough. Not yet. Come on. Have at thee. I think I hit him there. Yeah. I probably should use a sword against him. He's not wearing plate, so. Oh man! Jesus. And that's that. Hand over the coin and be on your way. Okay, that's that's, that. that's fair, I guess. Not too proud of myself there. Um. That was terrible. He he messed me up there at the end. But let's um Let's go here and get some of this marigold deduction. The decoction. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to. Yes, I am. I'm lower than I thought. Alright, anyway, I'll catch y'all in the next edit. I'll take care of this off camera. Alright, and uh next edit. No, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay, so I found... Let's go get this guy. I stumbled across this inn out in the wilderness, and, um... Let me get my a torch. Uh -huh. 
And uh, I met an old whore next to this wagon out here, and she wants me to go get her money. So I'm uh, handing out my services to uh, this woman so that I can make sure she gets paid. I might be stuck. Oh, no, there we go. Made it through. And it doesn't give me a chance to talk to him, so I think I actually have to pickpocket this guy, which is what I'm going to try to do. Also, off camera, I unlocked the ability Stealth Kill. As long as there's a dagger in your inventory, you can Stealth Kill if you sneak up on him. Uh-oh. These darn bushes, their wonkiness. So I think I'm just going to knock him out. And take the money that she's owed. A trunk key. I wonder what his trunk key is for. Where is he walking to? I have no idea, so let's uh, just run this, go expose the next uh, cloud, I guess, on the map and see what, um, he's probably walking to that. I don't know where he lives, though. But we'll go check it out real quick, since I do have a uh, trunk key. It's probably for a very hard locked chest, and I can't pick those yet, so. Oh, so in case you notice, my horse is running slower. I got a perk so he can carry more, but he moves slower. Um. Oh, this must be his house, because it said unlock keep my torch out just so you guys can see what's going on. Though it will probably expose me. It's raining outside though, so maybe... Here we go. This must be his... This is definitely his house. I'll have to lockpick anything. Alright, he's knocked out. I'm not gonna kill anybody. Why are you here? Bugger off. Shh. It'll be okay. Okay, so there's nothing actually worth stealing in here. Well, this is a waste. But it's good to know what I'm capable of. I'm gonna ramsack this house real quick as well, then I'm gonna go and turn in this quest. We've gotten significantly better at lockpicking, which is awesome. Because I was doo doo at it at first. So he didn't notice me, just the one person did. That's fine. Take some groshin. Save me some trouble. Actually, I'll take those bandages. Come on. Oh, I have to hold it. Don't mind me, fellas. You know, and... If this were a video game, this would be terrifying that I'm doing this, but I'm just here for the loot. Alright, I'm not trying to... I don't actually do this in real life. Just keep that in mind. If, uh... In case you were doubting. Uh, maybe once or twice, but I, I try not to make a habit of it. 
At least they don't have any. More money. Alright, so it wasn't really worth it. That's kind of a waste of a trip, but... Let's dispose of all these bandages. Then I'm going to travel, fast travel back to the inn, and we'll turn in the quest to the old whore. I mean, granted, I am helping out an old whore, so I, I don't know. Where do my morals lie, right? Come on. There we go. Oh, ran into somebody. Y'all are in luck. So I might not finish up the treasures today. Uh, I might actually do that brawl quest. There he is. I can't go on. You okay? What happened to you? God has punished me. That's what happened. Bandits torched my house and murdered my husband. I hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the roadside. A few groschens, sir. So I can go and buy some milk for the little one. Yeah. Of course. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you a hundredfold. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Is my good deed for the episode. Yeah, what's that over there on the hill? Did y'all see that? Oh, this must be her her burned out house. Well that's a neat little detail. She's actually we stay she's staying near it, which is probably you know dangerous considering. I can sleep here. Yeah. No need. Also, since I'm in all this armor, a lot of the traders and stuff will call me knight and sir, because I look like uh, royal royalty. So that's nice. I also picked up another activity quest at this inn. They want me to find them game uh, and turn it in for money, so. Something else to keep in mind. Where's she at? She's sleeping in here? Well, that's her. I've got your coin for you. Though I have to say, robbing a wretch who doesn't look much better than you doesn't exactly fill me with pride. Thank you a thousand times. Keep half as a reward. Have you got something else for me? For you, always. You brought me coin for food, but I'm cold. And I've oh, no. Food. No, I don't Sorry, want this. I can't do that for you. Not a blanket, but a lovely woolen shawl. My own. I was desperate, so I swapped it for a morsel of food. Oh, this is an okay, and now but... I'm sorry I did. Get it back for me, please. Okay. Consider it done. Thank you, handsome. I gave the shawl to a village woman who lives not far from here to the west. And to make it worth your while, she's got some fine old books stashed away in a trunk. It's surely worth a tidy sum if you can get your hands on it. I was just there and I didn't see a book, but I'll I'll take it. I can't read yet. I'll get to that though. Don't worry. I'm uh I keep getting lost and doing stuff. It's Really, really enjoying this game, so. Hopefully my whistle for the horse, because I don't know where. Oh, there he is. Hopefully I'm not making it boring by, you know, getting off the beaten track time and time again. But, uh, she set up to the west, right? That's to the east. That's... Maybe because I already looted the other place, it spawned it somewhere else? That doesn't seem right. But she said to the west. I don't think she knows her cardinal directions. This is another... An, another faint-hearted knight. This is like the fifth one I've run across. What is it, then? It's a, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I'm not what, this time I'm one of eager, aren't you? I'm yeah, it's the same guy too. In short, this. look, dueling's all fine and dandy, 
But shouldn't you start with looking for that virgin? There's lots of pretty maids around these parts. One or two might still be virgins. <laughs> hmm. That never occurred to me. Once you've done that, you might see this dueling differently. True. If I'm fighting for the love of my life, my courage will know no bounds. Ah, uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but so be it. Thank you for your encouraging words. Glad to be of service, sir. There you go. Um, oh, never mind. I'll wait here for someone else. Another night taken care of. Slain by my voice. Away. I know it's over here. I'm not that curious to actually go check it out, so we'll just uh we'll keep on adventuring. I have to edit this video today too. It's gonna it's just taking me a while to put this video together. Between all the edits earlier, trying to show you all the unique encounters that I've or the new encounters I've run into and uh treasure treasuring around. I'm also curious because the, the first town before it got destroyed in Scallets, there was a uh, there's a treasure map that a merchant was selling. I wonder if I can get that now if it's uh, lost to me forever. So I'm sure I could have found a way to finagle. Why is this so far away? Oh, it's not. I could have finagled enough money together to get that uh, treasure map. I'm sure. But if it's anything like the DLC treasure maps, those treasures still exist, I just have to find them. Which, good luck, because I've, I've gotten lost just trying to find re -find the treasures I already found. Oh my god! No! Here! Don't let him get away! Hey man. I don't know if I'm gonna hit him. Nope, I tried. Whatever. Oh, there it is. There's the shawl. That's not how I wanted things to go down, but alas, here we are. Um, yeah, still not anything worth taking. So I've got money for days now. Oh, yeah, don't worry about the uh, that little lion head next to my health bar either. That's um, I went and did the bathhouse thing. It costs like forty groschen, but it heals. I think it heals you completely, and also cleans your uh, clothes and stuff. But it's not PG rated, so it doesn't show anything. It's just noises. But I'd still rather not have it on the channel. But it gives you a plus two charisma bonus after you uh, you know get it in. So that's neat. Here's your woolen shawl. You're the soul of kindness, looking after a woman who's down on her luck. I wasn't always poor, you know, and I haven't always walked the streets. Tell me something about yourself. I was a farmer's wife at Neuhof. And I wanted for nothing. I had a decent dowry. My husband didn't beat me. Only one day he found himself another woman and threw me out. He wouldn't even leave me my dowry. I begged for a while, but then I started selling the only thing I had, my body. What else could I do? And all on account of that bastard. Is there anything else I can help you with? Remember how I told you about my husband? 
Well, now, after 20 years, the time has come to get my own back. My former husband is a farmer in Neuhof. He's the one who put me where I am today. And now he pretends he doesn't know me. But the ornamental dagger I gave him back then, that's still good enough for him, all right. I want you to steal it from him and bring it back to me. You'll get your reward, but it'll take a little while. All right. No sooner said than done. I wonder if she's actually telling the truth. I feel like she is. Like, I don't. I don't want to doubt her. I think from here on out, I'm not going to knock out random people because I, I mean, I'm well enough off now. I'm going to try to just be good. I was just being bad to get a, a solid start. And now I'll, uh, I'll start behaving myself. Build up my reputation and all that stuff. Also, these are usually lucrative. Oh, not this guy again. Oh, it's a mercenary. Well, I'm gonna equip this because he's going on a fight. What's the matter? I have a proposal. I'm listening. A little friendly combat. Just the two of us. Who are you? Who are you, anyway? And what do you do? Me? I'm just a wayfarer with a sword. I roam the world trying to earn a crust. That's all. So you're a bandit? You do me an injustice. I try to avoid banditry. Although, last winter I had to resort to that too. What about that duel? Okay. Alright, why not? Do you have any coin? Well, yeah, I do. You. Let's do oh. it. I lost it last time. This time, this time that won't happen. He doesn't have a shield, so I have a chance of actually get to him. Okay, okay. I like this dueling in the rain thing. I kind of wish it would make um the pitter patter on the armor from the rain. But that's not a hero there. This would be a cool effect. Strength went up. Cool. On guard. Oh man. Got knocked silly there. That's cool. Oh man. Hobble strike. All right. Now you're dead. No, you're dead. I had space bar thinking I was gonna kick him. That's such a cool looking attack. I don't think I've run across a uh, two-handed weapon yet. Yeah? No, I think I blocked all those. Oh wow, that was good. Or neat, anyway. No? Do you? Oh man, did he? Alright, I thought he made me bleed there. I don't have any combos with my hammer yet, so I'm just... Tucker. This is not my day. Here. Take your coin and run along. Some tea bags for him. All right, let's get out of here. All right, and continue our journey to Neuhof. Neuhof. I owe money here. Someone's gonna come talk to me. I'm sure. Come on, turn around. Come on, 
probably get some stuff from my horse, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. Well, at least I got experience for it, I guess. So, break and enter. Number, non lethal. It's just for the good of, uh, Sneakier in the rain. Old horse dagger, some groschen. Take that as well. My loot is by the house as well. I need a lockpick though. Just gonna. Rummage through it real quick, call it a day, and then fast travel back to the other. There it is. Ooh, a necklace for a thousand. Okay. Actually, I don't have a necklace on, so I might just keep it equipped. Oh, it's, well, it's counted as stolen, so I gotta be a little careful with it. Let's actually deposit those on my horse so they don't get taken away from me. Oops, what did I just give him? Was it arrows? No, it was my bow. Oh, I think it's the upgrade. Okay. Oh, yeah, more money. Always good. Sorry, get back here. Stats, strength. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, carry more. That's that's the most important, I think. So let's get out of here. Back to uh, the inn. In the glade. It was a pretty cool name for a place. We'll knock this out, then I'll go back to, um, what's it called? The, uh, Rete. That's the riddle guy again. Or if it's the same riddle. We've met before, haven't we? Come to think, yes, we have. So, you know how it goes. The bet is five groschen. I'll give you a riddle. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's do it. Sounds good. Let's do it. Pay close attention. There was once a merchant who had a magic pouch. When the merchant put one coin in it and waited overnight, he found two coins in it the next day. So, he waited until the following morning, and lo and behold, there were now four coins. And the morning after that, there were eight, and so on and so forth. After 60 days, the pouch was completely full. My question's this. In how many days would the pouch have filled up if the merchant had put in two coins instead of one on the first day? It'd be 30, because it'd be half, right? 30. No, no. Oh, oops. The correct answer Duh. is 59. Goodness gracious. It may seem that the pouch will fill in only half the time. That's fine. Right. I remember that now. I don't know why. It's a very common math problem, and it just it, it, it slipped my mind. Another one? Literally right beside me? Is 
not him, is it? I'm not going to worry about it then. I don't know. That's weird. Just get on scooting. Or get scooting. Is this your dagger? That's it. Thank you. You've proved not all men are complete swine. There's just one last little thing you could do for me. Last, you say? What is it? After he threw me out of the house, that bastard put another woman in my place. A younger one. And he gave her my trunk with my dowry. Can you believe it? My dowry? The bitch! I want you to get the key to that trunk. That bitch always has it on her. <laughs> Wouldn't it be simpler if I just brought you what's in the trunk? That's sweet of you, but there are some things I have to do myself. I want to enjoy my vengeance. Just bring me the key, and I'll take care of the rest. Then I'll never have to walk the streets again. I'll get on it. Pretty sure I have it, don't I? I picked it up from her. Oh, come on. I picked up the trunk key because I didn't have to lockpick the, uh... Oh, they're not going to be happy with me when I show up there. Well, I, get, I remember I... Oh, man. I'm almost positive I picked it up from her, so why can't I just continue the quest? Nobody important, man. Is there something you need? No. Sorry, man. But you know too much. You're following me around. That doesn't count, so it has to be on her body. <laughs> this, this poor family. Goodness gracious, I'm just... Oh, I feel bad. They've been harassing these, you know, villagers. I Maybe mean, I should feel bad. I have been stealing and killing people, stealing and stealing from people and killing people, and the entire game up to this point. So, <laughs> man, I've been brutally knocking these people out time and time again. There you go. Here's the key to the trunk. At last. Now I have everything I need and I'll be happy again. Thank you, lad. Come and see me tomorrow. I'll pay you everything I owe you and a lot more. What will you do now? Now I'll take what's mine. That's all you need to know. And don't worry, you'll get the reward you've earned. I wonder if she's going to attack... Uh, I'm, I'm always suspicious of NPCs. I'm like, oh, I'll come back tomorrow. I'll reward you. Whatever, whatever. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed by a group of guys. All of her uh, previous patrons. What are you here for? Uh, ooh, axe training. I'd like to learn to fight. Are you pulling my piss off? You want me to teach you? Yeah, I do, actually. What I do here? I don't actually remember what I did here. 
I was trying. Don't even re. Okay, so he won't train me, but I can. If I can get this game from him and then give it back to him. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple food things for uh after I sleep. Then I'll stay here for the night, hopefully. After I did, I thought I was help. Have you got a bed for them? Certainly. For how long? Oh, one night. Just the Sure. Here you go. You like it. I'd like to let Are you pulling my Alright, so I can't uh Can't share the axe with him, I guess because I stole from him. Ooh, the perk. The vitality. Alright, so bleed slower. I'd like to get Blood Rush. Also, we might have thick blooded, I guess. Just if I can actually sleep until tomorrow. That's a long time to sleep. Yeah, they won't let me. It's a little disappointing. I can travel to, um. Whatever it's called. Try back here because I need to talk to her anyway. Teresa, so here we go. You again, seriously? Friend. I increase my I speech at least. I'm just gonna power through the uh what is it then? The comments what? or the uh I'm what's eager, huh? Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Look, once you true. Ah, I'm pretty sure he's been in the same spot almost every time too. Never mind. Let's go talk to Teresa again. Now I'll come back and talk to the whore and uh hopefully finish that quest up. Not a fan of having to wait for a day. Attack on the road. Oh man. Okay, he's not very intimidating. I probably don't need to use the warhammer, but I'm going to. I surrender. Have mercy on me. No, you're a bandit. <laughs> yeah, now'd be a good time to practice my archery. I don't have my bow equipped. Oops. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have the means to do it. All right, dude. Come on. I'm not getting my stamina back. There we go. Come back here. What's this do? Oh, neat. Yeah, I'll take that as well. All right. Now that I chased down that bandit mercilessly. I apologize if the game is progressing a little slowly. I have this obsession with loot, and I'm also a completionist, so it's hard for me to... I 
should probably save. Let's talk to her first. Would you like to get up to some more mischief? It was fun the last time. Yes, it was. I'm a bit surprised you thought so too. Although a girl doesn't get a chance to tend the wounds of a gallant defender every day. It's quite late to be going out somewhere just now. Will you come tomorrow? Be a little busy tomorrow, but yeah, sure. Let's uh, take care of this boxing match then. Uh... Let's get rid of that then and do this one. Let's travel up to the town and uh, we'll take care of that and we'll go back up top, deal with the whore. Actually, this is probably faster. Deal with the whore and then um, come back down and deal with Teresa. She wants to do something in the morning. I just want to leave y'all hanging. Uh, we'll probably actually just do this and then uh, I'll call it an episode because I have a lot of editing I have to do. I have to splice all these videos together and exporting takes a long time. I should have went the other way. I'm like, my ding dong. Who are you? Oh, it's Hanish. So this is the uh, the noble church. Let's deal with these rabble rousers real quick. That should be okay. I'm in full, basically full plate armor. Yeah, I'm still missing one piece of armor. But, uh, assuming he's in here, nope. Is it you? Or are you the one that I need to fight last? Oh, my honor that you should come to me. Let's fight. I told you. Oh, darn it. Yeah, it's the other ones. Come on. This is just a little bit faster than walking, especially with the FPS problems in the in this town. But I'm glad to see that they're better. Is it this guy? A beggar. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Aren't you Ringler? Milan says I have to beat you before he'll take me on. And you're that blacksmith's lad, right? What do you want out of it? You're not living in the dirt here like the rest of us. Maybe not. But why shouldn't I try and beat some coin out of him too? Yeah, and you can pass it on to us that need it. If you want to fight me, you dandy, then pay up. Or fuck off. Okay. Well, there's two Groshen for you. Go, uh. Go and win. Just gonna wail on him. Oops. I'll be taking that from you. Let's um <laughs> go fight the next guy. <laughs> I mean, 
me to knock him unconscious. I think as long as we're in that in that pit, we should be okay. Shouldn't get in trouble for knocking him unconscious there. He knew the risks. Is there food to eat out of here? Yeah, because I'm a little low on nourishment. I'm at like almost 50. Oh goodness, there we go. Alright. Let's go fight the next guy. Yeah, brawling and brawling and plate armor is ridiculous. Uh kinda reminds me in in the original Fallout, the actual tactical game, if you if you say you get like metal armor or whatever, and you're fighting like a group of feral ghouls and they run up and like hit you with their fists, it doesn't do any damage because you're wearing metal armor. So like, they actually take into account uh, what what your armor is versus the weapon they're using. Just super duper neat. Not enough games much actually service tonight. do that. Uh, yeah. You're Steven, aren't you? Milan tells me he won't fight me until I beat you. Oh yeah? Then why would you want to? Well, never mind. I'll fight you if you pay me. What do you say? Two more Groshen and another easy win. Oh, so they always knock. They always get knocked unconscious, I guess. Oh, neat. Let's uh, go up here and talk to him, I guess. Can I cancel this in the middle of? Nope, can't miss. Can't cancel in the middle of fast traveling. Which is fair. I mean, it restricts you a little bit. Huh? There you are, friend. Oh, well, he hit shift once, but it's having me gallop instead of a canter or whatever it's called. Trot. I always call it trotting. They call it. I think they call it cantering in this game. Oh. Milan. All right, let's do it. Let's fight. I'm from Scalic, good folk. You gave those two You'll a pretty good hiding. There. And I made a grosh and a two in bets. You scallets fellows are good for my purse. One, two grosh, that's a very garbage amount. I guess in the very beginning it wouldn't be too bad to have. Sweating all the clinches, that's for sure. He's going to town. Heck yeah. Oh, I wonder where he lives at. I'll probably explore that off camera. Uh, we're going to call it here. I'm going to go back to uh, the mill and save. What's this? I said I started a new thing. Alright, well I'll get rid of that then. And deal with that later. Anyway, um... Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next episode. Again, I'm going to go save. I'm going to find his house and uh, loot all of his stuff uh, off camera. And I'll probably also do all my herb farming, or my uh, herbalism uh, grinding. 
So anyway, uh, hope to catch you in the next episode.